Turning to another story that we have been following all evening, the death of Brackenridge Police Chief Justin McIntyre. He was shot and killed late this afternoon in a confrontation with a suspect. That suspect was later killed in a shootout in Pittsburgh. We are bringing you continuing team coverage of this story tonight. Reporter Lauren Linder has been in Brackenridge since that shooting happened. She is learning more about what this police chief means to the community. But first, KDK investigator Andy Sheehan is live at Allegheny County Police Headquarters, where authorities have just released some new information tonight. Andy. Well, it was a tumultuous and tragic day, which took the life of a local police chief and in the end, the suspect himself in a shootout with police. It started with a traffic stop. State police on Route 28 pulled over Aaron Lamont Swan Jr., a 28-year-old career criminal with numerous drug, gun, and robbery convictions wanted on yet another weapons probation violation. But Swan bolted his car and was later pursued by Harrison Township Police, who got the car but not the driver, who fled on foot. At 2 p.m., he was spotted and chased by two officers near the brackenridge Torrentum border. They exchanged gunfire at two different locations with tragic results. Two officers were wounded in these encounters. Tragically, one of the officers was struck in the head and uh, died at the scene. The second officer was wounded in the leg and was transported to a local hospital where he is in stable condition. The one encounter took the life of Police Chief Justin McIntyre, a popular officer who had worked through the ranks as a patrol officer and sergeant before being named chief in 2018. Responding officers from several local departments immediately heightened their search as Swan carjacked a car and fled once again. We are looking for Aaron Swan. Uh, he's considered armed and dangerous. Uh, if anybody sees him, do not approach. Call 911 uh, and let the local police uh, do their job. A BOLO, a be on the lookout alert, went out across the region. And hours later, police encountered the car and the driver on Brushton Avenue in Homewood. Another shootout ensued after police say Swan fired his weapon. Officers shot and killed him. While fleeing from the officers, the suspect fired at the officers. The officers returned fire. The suspect was struck. He was uh, pronounced dead at the scene in the rear of the uh, apartments on Muller Court. It was not the first time Swan had shot at police. In 2014, he was arrested and later convicted of shooting at a canine officer in East Liberty who had stopped him for carrying a gun. He pled guilty and was sentenced to three years in prison. In 2017, he was convicted again and sentenced to another three years for armed robbery and inflicting serious bodily injury on another person. And most recently, in 2019, pled guilty to drug sales and was sentenced to another year in prison. Police had been looking for him today on a probation violation involving weapons, which likely would have put him back in jail. Our hearts goes out. Our hearts go out to the uh, families of the officers. 